Welcome to IT Vision Enterprises Solution to Pass Question in BECE Mathematics Session A Objectives Year 1990 IT Vision 2020 I am Lawrence Danso Amwakon alias Kapiri Impulsi I am going to be your facilitator August 1990 Mathematics Session A Objective Test Duration 1 R Question 1 If set P equals 7, 9 and 13 and set Q equals 1, 7 and 13 find P intersection Q For an element to be a member of P intersection Q it should be a member of P and a member of Q for example, 7 is a member of P, 7 is a member of Q, 13 is a member of P, 13 is a member of Q. So the answer is C. And 2. In the diagram, Q is a set of numbers inside a circle and T is a set of numbers inside a triangle. Find Q in your T. For an element to be a member of Q union T, it should be a member of Q. That is 3, 4, and 5. Or a member of T. That is 5, 6, and 7. We've already written 5, so 6 and 7. Or a member of Q and T. That is 5. So the answer is E. Question 3. Given that 23 times 82 into brackets times 79 equals 148,994, find the exact value of 2.3 times 82 into brackets times 7.9. You have been given 23 times 82 into brackets times 79 to be equal to 148,994 now to obtain 2.3 from 23 we shall divide 23 by 10 to obtain 7.9 from 79 we shall divide 79 by 10 we have divided the left hand side of the equation by two tenths so we shall divide the right hand side of the equation by two tenths one four eight nine nine four the left hand side of the equation we shall get two point three times eighty two times seven point nine to be equal to one four eight nine nine four divided by hundred and the answer equals one four eight nine nine four two decimal place to the left which I get this answer which equals to C Question four convert twenty five to the base ten to a base two numeral plus twenty five we shall divide by two we shall get twelve I mean that one Divide by 2, we shall get 6, remainder 0. Divide by 2, we shall get 3, remainder 0. Divide by 2, we shall get 1, remainder 1. Divide by 2, we shall get 0, remainder 1. So the answer is 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Which is D. Question 5. If 3.14 times 18 into brackets times 17.5 equals 3.14 times into brackets 3a times 17.5, find the value of a. We have been given 3.14 times 18 times 17.5 to be equal to 3.14 times 3a times 
we shall divide two both sides of the equation by 3.14 times 17.5. 3.14 times 17.5. This will cancel out. So we shall be left with 3a to be equal to 18. So a equals 18 divided by 3, which equals to 6. So the answer is 6.0. Let's see. It says, if 26,039 oranges are shared equally among 13 women, how many oranges does each woman receive? We shall divide 26,039 by 13. 13 goes here 1. 13 goes here 2. 0. 0 and then 3. So the answer is D. Question 7. Mr. Mensah reduced some money from the bank. He gave half of it to his sons and one third to his daughters. If he had 500 slaves left, how much did he take from the bank? First, we shall find the total fraction Mr. Mensah took for the bank. It's going to be half plus one third. LCM is 6. 2 into 6, 3. 3 into 6, 2. So we shall get 5 over 6. Now, to find the fraction left at the bank, we shall subtract 5 over 6 from 1. This can be written as 6 over 6, that's 1. Minus 5 over 6. So we shall get LCM 6, 6 minus 5, so 1, 6. So 1, 6 of the money represents 500 Ghana cities. Therefore, the amount is going to be 500 times 6, which is equal to 3,000. That is E. Question 8. Simplify half times into bracket 1 and half plus 3 quarters divided by quarter. The expression is equivalent to half 3 over 2. That is, we converted 1 and half into improper fraction plus 3 over 4 divided by quarter. And this is equivalent to half 3 over 2 plus 3 over 4 times 4 over 1. Take note that the division sign here was changed into multiplication and therefore we had to reverse 1 over 4 into 4 over 1. And this is equivalent to 3 over 2 plus 4 will cancel 4, so 3 over 1. Now, this equivalent to half the LCM of 2 and 1 equals 2. So we shall get 3 over here plus 6 over here, which equals to half 9 over 2 or 9 over 4, which equals to 2 remainder 1 over 4. So the answer is B. Question 9. If 21 is to 2, S equals 7 is to 10, find S. That is 21 is to 2, S equals to 7 is to 10. It's equivalent to 21 divided by 2, S to be equal to 7 over 10. At this stage, we shall cross multiply. That is, we shall multiply 2s by 7 and equate to 71 multiplied by 10 that is 7 times 2s to be equal to 21 times 10 we shall divide 2 by 7 times 2 7 times 2 this will cancel this so we are left with s to be equal to 21 times 10 divided by 7 times 2 7 goes here, 3, 
two goes here five so three times five which equals to fifteen so the answer is c then ten if s is a point on the line segment a b said that magnitude of a b equals ten centimeters and magnitude of a s equals four centimeters find the ratio magnitude of a s is to magnitude of s b a b equals ten centimeters And then A S equals four centimeters. Therefore S B equals six centimeters. So the ratio of A S S B is going to be equal to four centimeters over S B six centimeters. Two goes here to Two goes here, three. So the answer is E. Question 11. In an examination, 60% of the candidate passed. The number that passed was 240. How many candidates failed? The 60% that passed is equivalent to 240 candidates. The percentage that failed is going to be 40%. That is 100% minus 60 will be equal to if less more divide so 40 divided by 60 times 240. That also cancel out. 6 goes here 1, 6 goes here 4, 0. So we shall get 4 times 40 which equals to 160. So the answer is B. Question 12. A table which cost 2,400 cities to manufacture was sold for 3,000 cities. Find the profit percent. The cost price equals 2,400 cities. The selling price equals 3,000. The profit equals the selling price minus the cost price which equals 600. The percentage Profit equals six hundred over the cost price two four zero zero times hundred percent. Zeros will cancel out. Six goes here one, six goes here four, four goes here one, four goes here twenty five. So twenty five percent. So the answer is B. Question thirteen. If A equals Two squared times two to the power three divided by two to the power four find the value of a. Thus a equals two squared times two to the power three divided by two to the power four. For the numerator, we are multiplying so we shall add up the indices. So it's going to be two to the power two plus three divided by two to the power four. And this is the same as two to the power five divided by 2 to the power 4. Now we are dividing, so we shall subtract the indices. So we shall get 2 to the power 5 minus 4 is 2 to the power 1, which is the same as 2. So the answer is D. In 14, the distance between 2,000 is 12,875 kilometers. Express this distance in standard form. We shall express the figure 12,875 in the standard form. In the standard form, there should be only one digit to the left of the decimal point. To obtain this from this figure, we shall shift the decimal point from right to left. One, two, three, four places. And we shall get 1.2875. This figure here is the same as dividing the above figure by 1 with 4 zeros. That is 1.2875 divided by 
1 with 4 zeros. Since we divided by 1 with 4 zeros, we shall multiply by 1 with 4 zeros. This one over here equals 1.2875 times 1 with 4 zeros. 1 with 4 zeros is the same as 10 raised to the power 4 times 1.2875. So the answer is B, of course, with the kilometers. In short, to convert 1, 2, 8, 7, 5 into the standard form, we shall shift the decimal point four places from right to left and we shall get 1.2 and therefore multiply by 10 raised to the power 4. The part chart shows the monthly expenditure of Mr. Ace, whose monthly income is 18,000. Question 15. What fraction of Mr. A's income is spent on food? From the pie chart, the food has an angle of 120 degrees, and the angle at the center equals 360 degrees. So the fraction is going to be 120 degrees divided by 360. They also cancel out 12 goes here, 1, 12 goes here, 3, so 1 third. So the answer is C. Question 16. How much does Mr. A spend on rent? The amount spent on rent is going to be 90 degrees divided by 360 degrees times the total income, which is 18,000 cities. 90 goes here, 1, 90 goes here, 4. 2 goes here, 2, 2 goes here, 9, 0, 0, 0. 2 goes here, 1, 2 goes here, 4, 5, 0, 0. So the answer is C. Question 17. What is the size of the angle that represents savings? We are to calculate this angle. And it's going to be called to 360 minus. 120 plus 90 plus 60 plus 50 which equals to 360 and this will add up to 320 so 40 so the answer is 40 degrees that's A question 18 find the missing append 20.45 plus asterisk 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 plus 19.1 it should be equal to 44.30 now we shall add up these two and we shall get 39.63 plus asterisk asterisk Asterisk, asterisk, should we go to 44.30? Therefore, asterisk, 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 should we go to 44.30 minus 39.63? And this equals to 4.67. So the answer is E. Question 19. Remove the brackets A minus 2 times into brackets b minus 3c that is a minus 2 times into bracket b minus 3c this is equal to a we shall multiply to the items in the bracket by minus 2 so minus 2 times b plus minus 2 times minus 3c so a minus 2b negative times negative produces positive so plus six c so the answer is c scene 20 simplify 2a divided by 3 minus a minus b divided by 2 2a divided by 3 minus 
a minus b divided by 2 we shall put this into brackets the LCM equals 6 3 into 6 2 so 2 times the numerator we shall get 2 times 2a minus 2 into 6 3 3 times the numerator as a minus b so 4a minus 3a negative times negative we shall get positive so plus 3b all divided by 6 4 minus 3a plus 3b divided by 6 so the answer is c question 21 if q equals ut plus half ft find q when u equals 20 t equals 10 f equals 15 q equals ut plus half f t we shall substitute u t and f in the above equation u equals 20 t equals 10 plus half f equals 15 and t equals 10 200 over here 2 goes here 1 2 goes here 5 so 15 times 5 so 200 plus 75 which is 275 so the answer is b question 22 if 3 over 15 is equivalent to 45 over a find a 3 over 15 is equivalent to 45 over a implies 3 divided by 15 equals 45 divided by a we shall cross multiply meaning we shall multiply 3 by a and equate to 15 multiplied by 45 that is 3a equals 15 times 45 we shall divide 2 by 3 3 will cancel 3 3 goes here 5 so a equals 5 times 45 which equals 2 to 5 so the answer is a question 23 find the least common multiple of 7 14 and 18 we shall first find the product of the prime factors of 7 then 14 then 18 for 7 it is 7 for 14 is 2 times 7 and for 18 18 equals to 2 times 9 or 2 times 3 squared now the LCM we shall first consider the factor 2 for the factor 2, the highest power of 2 among the 3 numbers is 2. For the factor 3, the highest power is 3 squared. And for the factor 7, the highest power is 7. So this equals to 2 times 9 times 7 or 18 times 7. 56 carry 5 so 126 so the answer is D question 24 in triangle SYZ magnitude of SZ equals 13 centimeters magnitude of SY equals 12 centimeters and angle SYZ equals 90 degrees find magnitude of YZ if the area of the triangle is 30 cm squared the area of the triangle E is given by the half base times height that's half magnitude of YZ times the height 12 cm and this equals 30 cm squared that's the area this will cancel the system 
So this magnitude of y z equals 30. Therefore, magnitude of y z equals 30 divided by 6, which equals to 5 centimeters. So the answer is D. Question 25. Write 1, 2, 0, 4, 3, base 5 as a number in base 10. That is 1, 2, 0, 4. Since it's base 5, we shall multiply this one by 5 raised to power 0, 5 raised to power 1, 5 raised to power 2, 5 raised to power 3, and then add them up. This equals to 1 times 5 times 5 times 5. That is 125 plus 2 times 5 squared. That's 2 times 25. That's 50. This will be 0. And this will be 5 raised to the power 0 equals to 1. So 4. So 125 plus 50 plus 4, which equals to 179. So the answer is D. Question 26. Multiply 2s plus y into brackets by 2s minus y into brackets. That is 2s plus y into brackets. Multiply by 2s minus y into brackets. Equals to we shall multiply 2s by 2s. So, 2s by 2s. Then, 2s by minus y. Plus, 2s by minus y. Then, y by 2s. y by 2s. Then, y by minus y y by minus y this is 2 times 2 is 4 s times s is s squared so 4 s squared plus 2 s times minus y is minus 2 s y and this is also 2 s y minus y times y is going to equal to minus y squared so 4s squared minus 2sy plus 2sy minus y squared minus 2sy will cancel 2sy so we shall be left with 4s squared minus y squared so the answer is E. Question 27. A watchman was paid a basic wage of 256 a day. If he worked every day in the month, calculate his basic wage for February 1988. The year 1988 is a leap year. This is because the figure 1988 is divisible by 4. In a leap year, February has 29 days, so the basic width for February for the watchman is going to be 250 times 29. 9 times 0, 0. 9 times 5, 45, carry 4. 9 times 2, 18, 22. Then 0, 0, 5. So 0, 5, 2, 7. So the answer is C. Question 28. A tank contains 250 liters of water. If 96 liters are used, what percentage of the original quantity is left? The volume of water in the tank equals 250 liters. The amount used equals 96 liters. The amount left is therefore the difference, which equals 154 liters. The percentage of the 
original water left is there for 154 divided by 250 times 100 percent zeros will cancel out 5 goes here 5 5 goes here 2 and this will give us 308 divided by 5 percent 5 into 308 6 times 538 1 times 5 5 3 0 times 6 30 so the answer is 61.6 percent and it's A Question 29 Evaluate 10 divided by the sum of 3 and half and 1 1 fifth We shall first evaluate the expression in the bracket that is 3 and a half plus 1 1 fifth We shall add 3 and 1 We shall get 4 Then we shall add half and then one fifth the lcm of the two numbers is 10 now five over here plus two over here so the answer is going to be equal to four seven over ten which is equivalent to 47 over 10. now 10 divided by Three and a half plus one one fifth is therefore equal to ten divided by forty seven over ten, which is equivalent to ten times ten over forty seven. Take note that when the divisions was changed into multiplication, this fraction was reversed. So we shall get hundred over 47 which goes into 2 remainder 6 over 47 so the answer is A Question 30 a bag contains 24 marbles 10 of which are blue and the rest green a boy picks a marble at random for the bag what is the probability that he picks a green marble the total number of marbles in the bag equals 24. The number of blue balls equals 10. Therefore, the number of green balls is going to be 24 minus 10, which equals 14. So the probability of choosing a green ball is going to be equal to the number of green balls over the total, 24. 2 goes here 7, 2 goes here 12. So the answer is D. Question 31. Which of the following inequalities is represented on the normal line where n is a real number? The answer is D. n is greater than minus 3. Take note that all the values from the starting point of the arrow on the west greater than minus 3. Minus 3 itself is not included over here. Hence, the small empty circle is indicated over here. Question 32. What is the name of a line segment drawn to join any two points on the circumference of a circle? The answer is B, a code. Use the mapping to answer questions 33 and 34. Take note that the value here equals 1 times 3.14. The value here equals 2 times 3.14. The value here equals 4 times 3.14. So the value here equals 6 
times 3.14 which equals to 18.84 so the answer is D question 34 find the value of y take note that the value here is half of 2 the value here is half of 4 the value here is half of 6 so the y equals half of 10 which is 5 so the answer is B question 35 the area of a square is 49 centimeters squared what is the perimeter of the square the area equals 49 centimeter squared now let us make a rough sketch of the square let the side be s s the area of the square here is going to be equal to s squared equals to 49 therefore s equals square root of 49 which equals to 7 meaning s is 7 and since the square has four sides the perimeter is going to be equal to 4 times 7 which equals 28 centimeters so the answer is C question 36 the least number in a set of real numbers is 24 and the greatest is 30 which of the following is the correct interpretation of the statement the least number is 24 and the greatest is 30 the remaining numbers lies between 24 and 30 which means that s is either greater than or equal to 24 or s is either less than or equal to 30 so the answer is a question 37 find the area of the trapezium mnop the area of a trapezium is given by half a plus b times h in the above case a equals 12 and then b equals 18 so that a plus b is the sum of the parallel size of the parallelogram and h is the height so half 12 plus 18 times 4 or half 12 plus 18 is 30 times 4 2 goes here 1 2 goes here 2 so 60 centimeter square so the answer is C question 38 the length of a field 1.2 kilometers long is represented on a map by a line 40 millimeters long what is the scale of the map we shall convert 1.2 kilometers into millimeters but we shall first convert into meters since thousand meters equals one kilometer we shall get 1.2 times thousand meters which equals to thousand two hundred meters now we shall convert the meters into centimeters since 100 centimeters equals 1 meter we shall get 1200 times 100 centimeters now we shall convert the centimeters into millimeters since 10 millimeters equals 1 centimeter we shall get times 100 times 10 millimeters so 12 1 2 3 4 5 zeros 1 2 3 4 5 zeros millimeters now the scale is going to be 40 millimeters is to 12 1 2 3 4 5 millimeters millimeters of will cancel out now 4 goes here 10 4 goes here 3 1 2 3 4 5 
ten goose here, one, ten goose here, three, one, two, three, four. So the answer is E. Question 39. The diagram shows the construction for by setting a given angle. So the answer is D. We shall illustrate how to bisect an angle. We shall open the compass to a convenient radius. Place the tip of the compass at the corner of the angle and draw an arc to intersect the two lines. That's the first arc and that's the second arc. We shall place the tip of the compass